Let's... Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hamdi, 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 Hamdi. Boy, boy, My boy, name boy, is boy, Ali Abdikadir, and I was born in Somalia. So just I am here in the United States like three and a half years. So when I was born in Somalia, and I grow a um, place which is called Lojibar, especially Sabatuni, that is a uh, Kismayo district. In 1990, war break up in our country. So after that, uh, we fled to Kenya and then they give us opportunity to fill out to the United States. So United States, uh, many people, uh, they miss it, and many people, they get it. So uh, until now, they are there still uh, in Kakuma. They are suffering to, to flee to United States, but they are not able to come because of an uh, interview. Some of them, they fall, some of them, they pass it. I have one of my brother, his name is Abdullahi Radian. Abdullahi is passed, but he don't, they don't know, uh, he don't know what happened with him, and he's waiting his flight, but they don't accept him. The organization, they don't give him the reason why he's there, uh, and also he's worried about their, what happened with him, and he don't know what happened, and he would like to know, and he would like to come, like us, in the United States, in Kakuma, um, he, they don't have enough food, and they don't have enough uh, healthy, and they don't have enough education. So, and they are waiting for the resettlement. That's why I'm worried about who are back in, in Africa, like especially in Kakuma. So like my brother, my uncle, and my nephew, and my friends, they are there still, because they don't have this opportunity in there. And they have, they have a lot of children there. So and I don't know what to do, and we cannot help them. So I don't know if the United States uh, agencies, they can help them to bring the United States. The war came in the Wajuba, the, the people, they ran away. They, they don't know also where they are going. So some, they lost each other uh, in the forest because there is a wild forest. So there is some who get killed by by wild animals. There's some who kill the enemies, like those guys who have a gun. So our people, they don't have a gun, and they, do, they don't like to fight each other. So just the, we are the one who killed, we are the one who raped, we are the one who stole our property. So like me, I miss it there, my leg, because of a gunshot. They showed me there while I was in my garden. I was digging my farm in, uh, in my garden, so they came to me and they asked me like some food or clothes or money. So I wasn't half, uh, that thing's what they asked me, and I wasn't having that. So and also they asked me, uh, one of my friend, they said, where's that guy because he has a lot of money, and you the one who's your friend, you know where is he hiding now? So I say, I don't know, because um, they would like to kill him and to get this money. And I said, I don't have anything. So th they were three, and they were having a gun, um, which is called a uh, bazook, and other one is a G3. So he, other one, he was having a bomb. So other guy came uh, who was having the, uh, the gun. He said, what are you waiting for? Why don't you shoot him? Immediately, so others, other guy said, no, wait, we have, to, we have to get something from him before we shoot him. So anyway, we, we will shoot him, but we have to get him from him something. So another guy said, I can't wait, immediately, and shoot me. So that's why I missed my leg. After they shoot me, my friend came and carried me his bag, and he, he, he was going to take me to village, but and I said, no, I can't go to village because they can come and kill me against. Um, so can you, can, can you take me to my friend's uh, hut? So he said, okay, that's fine. So he, he, he took me there, whenever he took me there, but I stayed there without treatment a whole month. So just he pulled my leg and he made it straight. So after that, um, he put some traditional trees, uh, some wood, 
So he put that side and that side and that side, and he tied it. Uh, I stayed there like, uh, like, uh, like six months without treatment against. Even you cannot get it, uh, fo uh, enough food because no, nobody can help you. Everyone running himself. And I said, um, we cannot destroy all of us here, so you have to go away from me. So my brother says, I can go without you. So he got a little bit of money, and he was uh, walking with a wheelbarrow. So for three days traveling from my village to Kismar, it's three days, because there is no, um, the way is not good, because it's a rough way. There is a hospital, uh, which is uh, Kismayo City. So that's the, that time I get surgery, and my brother also get, in, in, uh, he fled to, uh, to Kenya. So whenever she was in village, she heard, Alice, now uh, your husband has been shooted by enemies. So, and now he's not okay. So since that day, she don't get uh, very well, and she get her mad, and she get her sadness, but she become sickness. Whenever they carried me, she visited me. She saw me, um, I missed my leg, she cried, and she ran away. She get back home um, in the refugee camp in Kismayo. So after seven days, the day she visited me, I counted seven days, the eight she passed. So whenever we, he get done in Kismayo and he asked me, hey Ali, my brother, and I would like to take you to, to, to refugee camp, which is a Kenya. So I say, okay. From Liboya, Kenya to Kenya, uh, my brothers took me by wheelbarrow, um, by his power, and he's pushing that. It was, uh, it was take that uh, nine days on the way because of raining time, and he's, he can't able to, uh, to push me because he don't have enough energy because there's no food. He tried his best. He pushed me whenever we arrive to border, so we get the um, Kenya military. So they give us, uh, whenever they saw us, uh, this guy, he's in difficult, and I also uh, suffering about my leg. So they said, we have to help them. So they share food uh, with us. So uh, my warrior is uh, my brother who's uh, helped me from, Ke from Somalia to, to Kenya. He pushed it by his power with wheelbarrow, nine days, okay, so, uh, Still, right now he's in Kenya, which is uh, especially in a refugee camp, which is called Kakuma. So, and I don't know what to do because I cannot help him. So he's there still, but I would like to bring him here, but he already passed it he, with his interview, um, healthy, so uh, physical examination, everything he done. But I don't know what they waiting for him. So still he's there, but. Um, still worry what to do with him because I would like to help him, but uh, I cannot able to help him. Yeah.